Okay, I just want to take a quick second to kind of help some people out with a problem. Uh, I know I've been having some trouble doing some videos and uploading some stuff lately, and I guess downloading some things as well, because as it turns out, apparently Netgear has some issues with some of their wireless adapters. And for some reason, I did a huge search of the internet. Looks like this has been an ongoing issue since 2015, and for some reason, they haven't quite figured out the best way to deal with it. Turns out a couple people had some issues that they posted up that were very close to solving the problem but didn't completely get rid of it. And I think I figured out what the two problems are and I want to step everybody through that because this is something that it looks like according to the Netgear forums we don't have a good answer. For some reason I don't know why they haven't figured this out. And we have some people that have tried some of these other options that some other people have posted up on YouTube. Didn't quite solve it for them but I think I just figured it out myself, so I wanted to share this with everybody. It's really two issues going on here. Uh, so you understand what's going on with the problem. It took me a while to understand it. I'm not the most tech savvy, but after reading through things and testing some stuff, what it looks like is the real issue we're having is that the way the item is set up, your, your uh, adapter, is you're actually having it access both the 2.4 and the 5g options and it tries to switch between them so basically we have to turn off both areas where it's trying to switch between those modes or wavelengths i guess and by doing that you keep yourself from getting caught up in those switches where it drops because that was one of the problems i was having is it, and the same thing I saw other people report too is it's not a very long disconnect. It's maybe a few seconds up to a minute and then you're back up. The problem is obviously if you're gaming or whatever else, you're going to have this problem. So let's get into what the issue is. Uh, let me go ahead and get into a couple of the issues here. The first is if you look on the task manager, you want to go to the last tab that says services. And for the A, uh, I guess... 6218, which is what I have. You have to go down here where it says Netgear Switch USB. Uh, when you go here, you can right click. I oh, know, actually, don't do that. You want to go to Open Services, actually. Here we go. And then you want to find the same thing down this list. Uh, here, I've already disabled it because I figured this out earlier, obviously, but you can click properties and here you just have automatic manual disabled just disable it i believe for most people it's set as automatic just turn it off click ok if you're using the a60 or 6000 i believe it's something called switch something or other or server something or other down toward the bottom uh, but same thing you just want to turn it off and then one of the issues and one of the ways you can probably check this problem to see if you're experiencing this elsewhere let me turn the screen off here actually is if you go into your netgear genie one of the things you'll notice at, that i saw is it was actually trying to bring up two different uh, i have one of mine set to just watson was my last name my home uh modem but it was trying to create two access points which I believe were the two it was trying to switch between. So I had one, if you uh, click on it, you can see that uh, details, it'll tell you what channels it's set on. So I had one that was, this one's here, that was set on 36, 40, 44, 48. And it was running as an AC frequency. And the other one was set on channel 11, running as an N frequency. So I believe it was trying to switch between the two of those. Now, the other option is, uh, let me go into my device manager. So depending on the version of Windows you have, you have to go and find your device manager. And let me bring this up for everybody so we can have this on here as well. And I'm sorry I don't have this better set up. I kind of doing this, literally it's 2 a.m. as I'm doing this and recording it, but I wanted to make sure that I shared this with other people because it looks like it's a constant point of frustration, which again, I don't know why this is not a thing that they've already figured out. So go in here, 
you want to go to network adapters you know, net gears 6210 sorry i said 6218 earlier 6210 and then we just want to right click that and look at properties and here under advanced you have two options it'll start i believe mine was preset to look at 2.4 g plus 5g which means basically it's going to try to access both of those my guess and i don't know this to be true is that it's probably just trying to find the best connection for priority at any given time and it's just making that decision whenever it feels it needs to which isn't uh, obviously always the best timing so what i did is i set mine to 5g only it picks up that speed so it's not a big deal i click ok and since then i have not had any issues which is a little bit strange but seems to solve the problem uh the if that's still a concern i'm not sure what else it would be for you but i believe that is the best way to solve this and the other thing we turned off in the processes basically uh there's also a feature where it can you can turn your set your computer to where it won't automatically turn off the the adapter and power saving mode which i believe most people have already tried that because it's recommended from netgear as one of their three things you should check if you're having this problem but yeah i think that's it so i hope this works for everybody it's just two things you need to fix there just two options you need to change but like i said since i've changed those i've not had any issues i downloaded a bunch of stuff I tried to run a bunch of things through like YouTube while I was messing around on Facebook, while I was trying to download something and it didn't change my speeds at all. Uh, I don't believe it's caused any issues. I actually haven't run a speed test, so I'm gonna see if it's changed anything uh, since then, but it looks like everything's good. Uh, no, my speed test still running absolutely fine, so it doesn't change that at all. So yeah, overall, I think it solves our problem. Uh, hopefully it's one of those things that really just solves your frustration. Cause I know I went through literally hours trying to figure this out over the course of two days and finally found the solution. I'm not normally a tech channel, so I appreciate you for stopping by to listen to me help solve a tech issue. I hope I explained it well enough uh, within kind of the terms that I understood it. Uh, I really just do gaming and fun things and I do reviews. So I will have this, I guess, under my review section with products. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you like this, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, help me out while I'm trying to grow the channel. Thanks.